Hello and welcome to the Counting Nails video tutorial. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how you can count objects present in an image using the Blob Analyzers technique in Adaptive Vision Studio. I will start by loading an image. In order to do this, I'll go to the Toolbox, Image Acquisition category, from Files tool, and then the Load Image filter. After adding this filter to the program, I have to decide where my image is located on the disk. If I run the program and drag the filter's output to the preview, I can see my image. Now that I have my image, I would locate the nails on it. Let's have a look at the image. These are the nails. In order to do this, I have to distinguish the objects from the background. I can do this by simple thresholding. Let's have a look at the filters available in Adaptive Vision Studio. Once again from the toolbox, I will use the threshold to region filter. Now I can connect the two filters and run the program again. The image has been thresholded, but the region is not really what I wanted. The region corresponds to the background instead of the object, but I can easily fix it by changing the parameters of the threshold to region filter. I'm interested in black objects, so I'll use the maximum value, not the minimum. Run the program again. And now I can see that I have my objects as one region. And this is thanks to the maximum value. The image has been thresholded to one region, which corresponds to all objects. Now I need to separate this region into single blobs corresponding to single objects. I can do this with the split region into blobs filter from the split region tool. Let's use it. Again I'll connect the filters and run the program. And there I have my objects separately. Now let's have a look at the nails. The feature which distinguishes them from other objects is their length. We can easily use it to classify the regions to have only those corresponding to the nails. In order to do this, we will use the region logic group and the classify regions filter from it. Okay. Now I'll connect them. Let's stop here for a moment. I'd like to briefly explain how classify regions filter works. We can choose from different region features to classify the regions which the filter receives. And as we remember, the feature that clearly distinguishes nails from other objects, it's their elongation. So, let's have a use of it. We choose it from the combo box. Run the program. And let's have a look at the numeric values corresponding to each region. What's more? We can activate showing the indexes of the blobs, so it's easier to match them with their numeric values. I will show you how to do this. I just activated the indexes. And now, you can compare each region with its elongation value. Just have a look. We can see that the nails are significantly longer and we can use it to set the in minimum input of the classify regions so only the nails will be accepted. Let's do this. If 
we run the program now, you can see we only have the nails. And here they are in the image. One more thing we can do is to make the classify regions filter count the accepted regions which are our nails. You can do this by right clicking the out accepted port and activate it, its count property. You will see a new count port. And if we run the program, we can see the final result, just the number of the nails.